You may know my next guest from his uh, movie debut as the Geeky Kyle in Road Trip or from The New Guy. Well, starting Friday, you can see him in the new sci-fi film, The Core. Let's take a look. You want me to hack the planet. <laughs> he wants me to hack the planet. You've got free long distance on that phone. Forever. Okay, if I decide to do this, I'm gonna need an unlimited supply of xenotapes and hot pockets. Hot pockets. They help me concentrate. Please welcome DJ Qual. Now you've been doing well, you've been on the show before, yeah. and uh, you're you're doing very well. This is this is a blockbuster you're in. Yeah. I have seen the ads for this movie everywhere. They've put ads in my room at home for this. Really, you Mine can't too. go anywhere without seeing the ads for this this movie. Is this exciting for you? Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, to be in this caliber of actor, I mean, Hillary Swank and a bunch of Academy Award winners are in the movie, and I've done only teen comedies, so now here I am with these guys. But because it's such a big budget movie. They have to run the ads every day, and I'm in all of them because it's my job to attract the kids, which is what I was doing before I did the movies, but now it's legal. So, um, <laughs> so Very nice. So I have to bring in that young audience so they're everywhere. So it makes me nauseous when I see myself on the television because it's like hearing your, your voice in surround sound, but like on an answering machine. Do you know what I mean? It's like really... You get self-critical when yeah. you see yourself? Oh, my yourself? God. My nose is like 40 feet long in real life, and like it's 80 feet long on the television. So That's some TV you have, by the way. I'm rich now. You yeah. see. That's very nice. Now, have you been working steadily since Road Trip? I remember when you were last year, you, were, you said that you were worried that maybe the jobs would peter out or something, but you've been getting consistent work? Yeah, I did eight movies in a row without a break, and so I was just working like crazy. And after I did The Core, I took six months off, and I went home to Tennessee. And then I came... All right, and um, <laughs> they're not from Ow! they're not from Tennessee. They just wanted to hear themselves at home. Uh, so it's a sad trick. I, I took a break, and then I came back to LA to get a job because the money is running out. And um, I realized that the tide has changed, and now ugly is out. What? Yeah, I'm in the middle of an ugly person hiring embargo. No one will hire me. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm serious. Like, now it's gone. I mean, it was really, you know, everybody was gorgeous for a while, and then it moved to the ugly, and then all ugly people started getting jobs, and now it's moved back to the beautiful. So I cannot get a job. Nobody will hire me. When is there going to be the fat Irish face embargo? That's the yeah. one I'm worried about. I, I don't know. It may never happen. Me um, and Senator Kennedy are screwed. <laughs> so I've decided to form a coalition of ugly people. Um, to, you know how like the NAACP did that and it was very effective. I mean, they're a group, they mobilize themselves and so I learned from that. So you're saying you're going to get, uh, first of all, I don't think you're an ugly person. I don't well, think you should you. have that attitude, but um, <laughs> I don't love you, but I think you're being too hard on yourselves. But you want to mobilize other people who feel that they don't, they don't look beautiful. Yeah, but they don't know. That's the problem. Ugly people don't know they're ugly. Right. So I'm going to launch a nationwide campaign. I'm going to towns near you and I'm going to tell you if you're ugly and tell <laughs> that you need to come back to LA with me and, and fight the good fight. This will go very well, I promise I, you. I, I'm expecting it to, and we're going to join up with the elderly, who are also a marginalized group who can't get, if you're not, you know, once after the Golden Girls was canceled, right? all those jobs. It's true, a lot of elderly actors complain they can't get work. And so if you're not on a game show, you're out of work. Right. So I've decided <laughs> to, myself and B. Arthur, right. um, we will go around the country and Have shoot. you talked to B. Arthur about no, this? I'm, I'm sure she'll be down for it. Yeah, yeah. And and, um, She'll even say it. She'll say, I'm down with you down on this. That. Yeah. After she records her rap album. Yeah. And um, so we're just going to go around the country and get people together to come and tell people in Hollywood, hey, we want to see ugly people on television. Well, I'm with you on Don't this one. Don't you want to see ugly people on TV? I'm curious you. how you handle, like, there are some... Like, if you turn on TV, they, what, what I love is that they get people that are so over-the-top good-looking. Uh, like the, uh, that show, uh, what, what is it, Smallville? Or something? Oh, yeah. The, the women on that show are just, it's like they were cr genetically created in a lab. They were. The you WB turn it, and everybody, them. like, when, when they have a woman play a hobo on that show, she's gorgeous. 
How do you watch TV with all these people around? Well, you watch the WB, but you watch it on Friday night because nobody's home on Friday night, so they put all the ugly people on television. <laughs> I mean, wait a minute, I'm, I don't even know what's on the WB on Friday say. night. Um, but, you know, actually, there is a show on... on so all the ugly people are on the WB on Friday yeah, I mean, night. You, they don't put... We've just hurt a whole bunch of people's feelings. I know, but, but I'll ha in, in, in one of the show's defense, it's called Grounded for Life. It's actually just came to the show, and it's the best show on television besides this one, of course. And um, Law You're Order. a smooth character, and I'm with yeah. you in all your pursuits. Um, and Law and Order also, which I like, which is on this network. Okay, I would you like, just mentioned Law and Order, and that blew it. Um, I would like them to hire me here, so I'm trying to get in. Good with you want to be on Law and Order? No, I would like. Oh, absolutely! Wouldn't wouldn't that be great? I'll be a cop. Stop. <laughs> Stop okay. Yeah, the best thing is you wouldn't have a gun. You really would <laughs> just go like that. <laughs> quit it. Quit it. Cut it out. Hey you. All right. Forget it. Yeah. Now before we go, I understand you. you we were talking last time about how frugal you are. You don't. Yeah. You're very careful with the money that you make. Right. You hang on to it. You're not one of these free spending uh, movie stars. Right. I understand you just bought a car on the net, on the internet? Yeah, on eBay. Okay, what did, what did you buy? I bought a, a 2001 Kia Spectra for $3,000. The car has... What's a Kia Spectra? It's like a little hatchback. It's gold. It has like... It's not, it's not made of gold. It's just... It's, it's golden. A, a golden, a yeah. golden colored, and it's the Kia Spectra. It has 12-inch rims on it. You know, a nice little stereo 12 system. 12-inch rims. So, you know, I mean, it's a perfect car. You can beat it up. What, what is it? it fully, is it fully loaded? Absolutely. It has the crank to open the window. Really? It's a yeah. crank window, so you didn't spring for the... And you spent how much on it? $3,000. $3,000? And how many miles were on the car? 20,000 miles. It has a 100,000 mile warranty on it. Yeah, but it's never going to make it to 100. It's a, it's a Kia Spectra. When the rubber band breaks, you're screwed. <laughs> You're, you're, you're getting no endorsement from the Kia Corporation. Don't worry, I'm a Ford Taurus man myself. And that baby hums! And you told me that the last time I was on the show. I know, I'm very proud of my and Taurus. And I said, if you can do it, I can do it. Wait, don't, what, is, what are you talking about? The Taurus, that's a sweet ride. Oh. Don't compare the Kia Spectre to the Ford Taurus. My I've bad. got the Ford Taurus with the little thing that you pull up that supports your neck. You know that? Yeah, oh, wait, that's there by law, no, I think. No, mine are, both of mine are missing. And, and, and the I think I have yours. And the rear seat belts are missing, too, so I'm... You I'm don't need a, a seat belt in a Kia Spectre. It never achieves the speed that would right. require a seat belt. Yeah. Has Look a, out, we're going to crash. Bang! Has the Flintstone holes in the bottom. Um, the core opens uh, Friday, so uh, check that out. I always have a good time talking to you. You're a good Thank man. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. DJ Qualls. We'll take a break. When we come back, Jesse James is here from Monster Garage. Everybody. My next guest is the host of Monster Garage, which airs on the Discovery Channel Monday nights at 8 o'clock p.m. Please welcome Jesse James. 